Welcome to Turning Point on Card Player TV. We caught up with Lane Flack during day two of the 2009 WPT Legends of Poker main event to discuss a crucial hand that nearly doubled him up to put him back into contention. Here, Lane breaks it down street by street to give us an inside look into his thought process. You know, day one, I, uh, I had ace king. I had three big situations where I had ace king and I lost all of them and I flopped something. One of them I lost to David Williams. He had king queen, hit a queen on the river. And uh, like three other hands, I won with king jack. So I'm winning with every king but like ace king. And, and now this guy, he raises and he's got a lot of chips, but you know, he's got a lot of the 100s, the $25 chips, you know, kind of a, a cannon playing every hand. So he raises and another guy calls who's very tight and I'm in the big blind, king queen suited. So I call and I flop the king. You know, I, I'm not even sure if I want to flop the king or queen if you get in trouble. So I do and I check and uh, you know, he bets and the other guy folds, which was a relief because I know the other guy was a solid player, but I don't know his name. So I make the call, and on the turn he bets 10,000. I think I got 17,000, and I don't know. I mean, I almost laid it down. It come, what, three spades also? And I had the king, queen of hearts, but I called, and uh, I checked check on the river, so. I mean, I, I, got, I got lucky. I mean, I was just praying he didn't have ace king. Why'd you check dark on the turn? Because there was three spades out there, if it comes another spade, he doesn't know if I'm on the spades or not, and, and he may check behind me, therefore, you know, it, it's less likely that he's able to bluff into me if I check in the dark. You know, if uh, if because there was, what, five, six, seven out there, if it comes another straight card or a spade, he's more apt to check ace-king, as opposed to me have to make a decision. On the turn, you only had 18,000 total, and he bets 10. Why not stick the other eight in? Well, I mean, he's calling. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing he's calling. I don't know if I have the best hand or not. I want, you know, 8,000 is plenty of chips. I've done magic with 8,000. <laughs> so it's more about tournament survival than, you know, just sticking it in just because you're committed. Yeah, I'm, I mean, basically sticking in the 10,000 was committed, right? You know, if, if he bets 8,000 on the river, I most likely have to call unless it's an absolutely horrible card like the ace of spades, putting four spades and an ace out there. But he, he said he had two jacks. But I mean, he bet the 10,000 so quick. That I mean, you know, most people, you know, if they one of the tells they bet fast, you're not sure. But he, uh, him, I'm pretty sure he, he didn't have it. <laughs>